Right, sir. Welcome back to the studio. We're joined in the studio today by Yes, folks. Check this out. New model, brand new model. We have her in the in the hood here. The Cat Jennifer Hart. Hi How guys. you doing, Cat? Thanks for coming in the studio. No problem. Thanks and very Dave, much. Our uncle Dave, Dave Hart. Yeah. How you doing, Dave? Not too bad. Not too bad. And yourself? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks. And uh, it's a dry day. That's all we want, yeah. you know. Well, we'll tell you, it's warm in here, isn't it? It is. It is. I think it's time to get this up before it. Wing. Look at that there. Oh, what a Yeah, shot. what a Beat shot. Daughter, aren't <laughs> so, Jennifer, yes. how are you? I am fabulous, thank you very much. Now, you've been recently spotted and you've been asked to go to London for I a photo have. shoot. Yes. Tell us the crack. Well, it started off with just applying to a website online and um, I got news back from the agency, got news back from a few agencies, but we decided to pick one that we thought would be the more appropriate one because they left a very nice uh, voicemail on my phone. So oh. we were like, fair enough, sounds like a nice person. So we decided to go with them. So we got the word that they wanted us to come over to London. So we went over to London, did the test shoot. It was an absolute bollocks trying to get over there because the place was reeling and we couldn't find it. So it was hell. And was it right in the centre of London? It was directly in the centre of London. Well, anybody that does know London, if you have to get it's into hell. the centre of London, when, especially when it's raining. And it's raining. It's a nightmare. Yeah. All the tubes are full. The buses are full, the streets are sort of half full, half empty, yeah. <laughs> and everybody's in a rush, yeah. as you know. Everyone's but just trying to get to work, and try, especially at like at 9 o'clock in the morning when you're trying to get there. And, and 9 o'clock, that's rush hour. Exactly. It's, you're in the middle of it. Exactly. And London is so big, isn't it? It's, oh, it's huge. It's, it's like, I mean, I was thinking, right, it's going to be something similar to like Newry, maybe times two. And then I walked on and I was like, <laughs> times 50. <laughs> Where am I? What am I doing? <laughs> and you're just looking up them skyscrapers. Exactly. You ended oh, up on the go for about 15 hours yeah. straight, didn't you? you we know, got the flight over from Ireland at, I think it was like. Six o'clock in the morning. Then, yes, and then we got over to London at roughly about nine. Um, we booked idiotically the hotel next to the airport because we thought, right, this is going to be great for getting home. No, because the airport is nowhere near Piccadilly, which is where we had to go to. <laughs> which airport was it? Um, it was Gatwick Airport. <gasps> no, yeah. that's a real far side yeah. of London. Oh no! So we had to then travel. We had to get two trains and four buses to get into Piccadilly to then try and find our way to get to the... Oh, geez, it was Were hell. you late? No, we got there early. <laughs> we got there uh, early. So you haven't a clue where you're going. You take off. You're yeah. Next thing you know, you're in London. You're going, in Galtwick. Where the hell am I? You're in <laughs> Galtwick. Now you have to get two trains from Galtwick into London. <laughs> oh, folks, this is a nightmare. But you got there, we got there. early. We got there. Typical. That's the way the Irish work. That's <laughs> fabulous. So were you nervous when you got there? Uh, no, 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 no. They were absolutely so lovely. They were really nice, and uh, they just they were just so polite and everything. And we just thought, mm, well, this feels really good. So no nerves at all. Brilliant, so brilliant. Really Bruce Wayne and Desire McNeish, check out this young lady here, Cat Jennifer Hart, brand new Irish model coming over your way to London. So keep an eye out for our dudes or get on to me and we'll work something you know but this this girl's going you're getting you're, the name's out there isn't it yeah, yeah. Um, tell, tell us about the, the about the test shoots and the oh well we got into the test shoot and we had to do four different shoots two inside and two outside and one of the ones that were outside at the start was perfectly fine it was great the weather was dry the next shoot we got out we had to walk like literally like half a mile to get to where it was and i was in bloody heels we got out there we got about five minutes of this shoot and it started raining. And you had big heels. And I had huge heels on, had to walk my way back. And not only were they heels, but they were stilettos. Not a good idea in Spiked the centre of London. Stilettos. Not a good idea in no. London. No. No. And I also had people walking past, t looking, going, why, why is there a girl dressed up? Getting photos. Too. Yeah, and I was like, "Don't look at me." <laughs> and funny, usually on the tubes in London, you know, um, you'd see girls going out at the weekend. They're all glammed up. Yeah, but and this was in the middle. Runners. This was a Monday. <laughs> on a Monday at like two o'clock, and everyone's like, "What are you doing, dressed up on a Monday at two o'clock?" Yeah, but like, over there, nobody. I mean, it's it's a massive big city. Oh there, geez, there's yeah. so many. Let's say colourful people going oh, around yeah, there, yeah. And, and eccentric people. <laughs> I mean, the if you with uh, big stilettos on the centre, that you know, <laughs> you, you <laughs> get your it's looks. It's the norm, already. you know. It's yeah, the norm. that's plain. Yeah, but uh, as I say, and I see some of the the girls over there, and they're they're glammed up, and they're wearing a pair of runners Chinese, on the tube, I know. but they have the handbag with them, yeah. and then just on the way to the tube station, you see them going in, the heels on, runners yeah. on, <laughs> big heels on, you know. So uh, I know. Uh, so 
did they give you any further you know after the shoot then to get all your well, photographs we had to get the portfolio sorted so we went to get the portfolio sorted with the assessor and she was talking about like different types of modeling like catwalk and high street and commercial and all different sorts of modeling and she basically explained the whole lot of it which was really highly informative it was great and then she said you were told at the start now if you don't get it if you aren't successful you don't get to view any of your photos but if you are successful you do get to view your, view your photos so we were like crap i really want to see these <laughs> photos yeah so we got to the end and we had to get a total of 15 usable photos to pass to be successful along with five different criterias including personality like uh, how you work in front of a camera if you're confident or not and that type of thing i got a total of 52 out of 15 usable 52 out of 15 yes well there's there's plenty of work for you in london <laughs> then that's only the start of it now i say london that's only the start because these agencies are linked around the entire yeah, planet they're global like so you're going global pat i hope that's so. where you are <laughs> Especially if they take 52, they're only supposed to get They 15. took 216 and we had to get 15 usable photos and I got a 15, 52 usable ones. I asked the photographer halfway through, like kind of like a, a sneaky wee question, do you think I'll get it? And she goes, I definitely think you'll get it. So I was like, yes. Yeah, well, you're con <coughs> so you're, you've got the confidence. That's one thing about you. And I met you last year at the Battle of the Bands so in Discover. <laughs> and Aaron, there's your cousin and yeah. all there. Yeah. And you have the confidence. You have no fear at all, have you? Not really. <laughs> no. This girl's going places, folks, let me tell you. So, over to Uncle Dave there. Are you proud of your niece? Oh, couldn't, couldn't be prouder. Hello, on the, on the confidence point, nothing, nothing phases her. Finally got her. Finally got her. Oh. <laughs> the you had to the, bring this up on oh, the yeah. station. The, the Don't be dishing the door now. You're the, dealing with a model here, Dave. You the know what I'm saying? The 40th birthday. I hate you so Family much. Family and friends, all right, says, uh, I bet you nobody else can say this. And they're like, say what? I says, my 40th birthday. I says, I don't model show up my 40th birthday. And she just went red. Am <laughs> <laughs> I right? So he much. just caught you on the words then. Yeah. He just <laughs> caught you on the words. Dave, that's not good. Not good for a model's career. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. I know. She needs support, bro. She needs a support. You know? No, I couldn't, couldn't be proud of her. That's I'd be prouder or off her. <laughs> prouder or Yeah, I think mum's proud too, isn't she? Oh yeah, I'm always awful happy. Yeah, yeah, she's great. She's giving me a big beep there, you know, when I was coming over there. Hello, Maria. Uh, it's called good, she's you know. Woman. It's an album. Oh, sure, aren't it? New tattoo on her back as well. Yeah. We'll not go into that. Indeed. You know, she mightn't want to hear that. Like. <laughs> but uh, back to the modelling. So, you went in, you were there at, what, 9 o'clock in the morning? You got there? Uh, into the fo um, photo studios, at, I think the thing was at 1. But we had been in central London by like 9. And, was, and you had to do, you go in and register and all yeah. that and go through all the, the talk and all the rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we, after 1 o'clock, the photos and all? Uh, yeah, the photos shoot started almost about half an hour since we got in. So it was pretty good. It was pretty quick. So you were done and dusted by one, were you? Oh, no, 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 we started at one. You only started at yeah, one? Yeah, we got into Piccadilly, central London, by wow. like 9, 10. Piccadilly, some spot, isn't it? Oh, jeez, yeah. It's unbelievable, isn't packed. it? Packed. And it's packed 24 hours. Well, it might, it's not so packed, but... You'd be surprised. You know? You'd be surprised. Oh, I've been there. Lived we there only got out of, of Piccadilly at like, I think it was 8 or 9 p.m. That's a long day. Yeah. That's, you must have been exhausted. So I was wrecked. I got to bed at... You were on the go from 6 in the morning. Yeah. And there's 9 at night. got to the hotel at like 12. Now, I'm an insomniac and I don't sleep. But as soon as my head hit that pillow, I was out for the count. I was yeah. a log. Well, that was a heavy day for you. It was awful. But it was absolutely amazing. Because after we found out that we were successful, we had to go back an hour later. And we found out that I was successful. Me and Mummy ran down the street in the pouring rain. Now this rain, like it was sheet rain. It was proper sheet <laughs> rain. You could not see five feet in front of me. Oh yes. And I stood with my portfolio in my hand and I was running down the street and we were laughing and singing and dancing in the rain. And Mummy took a big massive photo of me with my portfolio going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. We've made it, we've yes. made it. We've <laughs> Razor! That's the, one, that's the one you want to shout, Razor! Brilliant, well congratulations. So what's, what's happening now then? Have they got back to you? Are they so assignments? We're going to be doing, I think, minimum of four photo shoots a month. So Four a month? Yes. That's one a week then, isn't yeah. it? 
brilliant. And is that going to be in London? Some will be in London, some can we can get transferred to Ireland and different places. So, so you're writing location yeah. then? And they're going to be picking the locations? They pay for, like say if we had to fly over to London, they pay for the flights and they'll pay for the accommodation if we have to stay there. Rightly so, rightly so. More money for this young lady. She needs more money. She needs to be glammed up. You're going to, you're going to hit the top, aren't you? I hope so. I hope no, so. No, you are. You are. Yes, I. You're supposed to say yes, I am. Yes, I Go am. Right See, to the top. that's it. The confidence. Uh, there, I'm sure you do know some models out there, and they're lacking in confidence. Oh yeah. You know, and they don't get very far because they don't believe in themselves. And if you don't believe in yourself. Who else is going to believe in you? Yeah, but you're you're a you're a fun person. I'm very. You crave and fun on fun. Oh yeah. And you're buzzing, aren't you, all the time? All you know. Time. You'll, you'll, never, you'll never get you'll never see me without a huge smile on my face and all excited. <laughs> that's that's. I think that's why you're, you're you know that's why you're going to make it big. Yeah. You are the girl that the modelling agencies are looking for. <laughs> you really are, and I have to say your photographs, the ones you put up, are fabulous. Thank you very much. Yeah, they really are. Um, are you going to start a modelling agency, Dave? Mm, Over possibly, here? Possibly. Well, you've got the top model. You've got Ireland's top model. She's sitting right here in front of you. So you've got to build her a website, but she's already got one. I have one. You have one and all your well, own No, website. what I'm going to do, I was talking to her in the car there. I'm going to put her in contact with a of mine graphic designer. Right. To do her up some business cards. Um, well, that's it. You're going to need yeah, all this. Get them you know, all sent out. And your, your emails and all yeah. sort of thing. We're getting a new Facebook set up for only modelling. Yeah. Because like, I have my social Facebook, you know, where I kind of stalk yeah. everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we're getting a new Facebook set up for only modelling, where we're going to connect to, like, different agencies, different designers and other models as well. So that should be pretty good. Very good. Well, there should be plenty of work there for you, There's, you know, because you've got the looks, you've got the confidence. <laughs> Your look out world, she's on the way, aren't you? Cats I on am the way. Indeed, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the agency you're with actually does quite a wide variety of, you know, um, shopping centre sort of advertisement, club big advertisement. But yeah. Yeah, I think Maria was saying they also do sort of like extras for TV as yeah, well. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. like the Coronation Street and stuff like that as well. Oh, then it's a, it's a the multi agency. Yeah, yeah, my assessor. Very wide variety of sort of stuff. My assessor that I actually worked with, who was the one that told me I was successful, she's actually she works with the makeup on the voice. Yeah. She does the makeup yeah. on the voice. Yeah. Do you see this is this is the thing I'm I'm saying to you. This is why I'm saying to you, you're going places. Because the connection of, out of all the people in the modeling modeling world in in London, yeah, I mean, it's, the, the, huge. it's a global connection. It's huge. It is massive. Are you in LinkedIn and all that? Are you? No. No, you're going to have to get on. See, this yeah, is it. And see, get Twitter. On all the social Twitter. networks. Twitter. You're going to need to do Twitter and LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. It's it's a must for you. You know, but this is where you get your connections. You know, mm -hmm. and. There's no oil messing about like there is on, on Facebook, you know, yeah, there's nobody, know. you know, hey, your beach look crap, or, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to you, or... It is, it's, it, uh, it's, it's more of a written based sort of, well, it, 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 there is photographs it, of it, but... It, it's more business orientated, yeah. and it's, you, what you do is you promote your own, what business you have, and that's yeah. it, you get it out there, you know. Apple Models, one of the companies, the platform that I'm working with, have actually worked with Vogue and ID Magazine as well. See, there you go. So it's Apple Models you're yeah. with, yeah. I'm with um, Apple Models and Metro Photography. So. Metro Photography? Metro. Metro okay. Photography. They think, is that, are they affiliated to the Metro newspaper over there? I'm not sure, but they're the biggest photography company in London. And then that's them. So you're, you're, you're going places, you don't even know how far <laughs> you're going, and you, you're out there already. <laughs> So fair play to you, you're going to, I can see this is going to take off you, it is taking off you, yeah. you know, and I wish you the entire best of luck. Thank you um, And as I say, Bruce Wayne, Desire McNeish, boys run a modelling agency as well, and it's mm -hmm. affiliated to the Spotlight, the biggest acting agency in the world. Oh, yeah, so check her out lads, check her out, you know. Um, the onwards and upwards, that's what I yeah, say. Yeah, definitely. So have you got millions of dresses, handbags? I have not, actually. I'm not a dressy type of person. Would you wear a pair of jeans, pair of runners? A I'm, I'm a hoodie, hoodie and, a hoodie a hoodie and right. jeans, you know, kind of wrapped up. Yeah, keep warm. It's Ireland for God's yeah, sake. Yeah, it's you not know. LA here, that's for sure. Um, well, you know, these people are going to have to supply you. Yeah. Did you hear that modelling agencies? I'm actually I'm in I'm in a modelling agency in Dublin. Oh really? Oh yes. Never got a day as well. <laughs> got there. Thanks very much, assets. You got assets accepted, it. but you didn't get any. Oh no, it's down. Photographed and all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's probably meant to walk out through the door. Ben, <laughs> <laughs> you know yourself.
But uh, to do the same as, as the agency you're talking about, to do, you know, bit parts for films yeah. and stuff, you know. So you have to be out there. You have to be out there. Even get yourself signed up to, like, the NA Extras, even yeah. though it is just extras. You know, at least you're still getting out there. Yeah, yeah. told about that one as well. Well, that's, that's it. You know, try them all. Yeah. To try them all. And Might as well. When you get your Facebook page out, that's, you know, share it to me and I'll, I'll send Indeed. it out there too. Because it's all about promoting. Yeah. And if you don't get the promotion right, it's not going to work, going you know. Anywhere. Well, at the same time, when you go over to London, and it only takes the right person just to get a look, there's the girl we're looking for there. Yeah. You know what I mean? If your face fits, you're in. It's very, yeah, very exactly. simple, you know. Um, so you're, you're DJing at the, you were a DJ, are you? Uh, well, no, sort of a trainee DJ. Um, I was up at the Shiny FM there in Banbridge. Shiny FM? Yeah, I was up to do IT support. And they had a, a free slot and they asked me, did I want to do a bit of, bit of a DJ? Do a one hour show. Uh, I was like, yeah, certainly. So I was shown how to use the desk and I was yeah. literally thrown into the deep end. Like, uh, so if we, it's just it's just like an album chart show that I do um, for an hour uh, every week. But mainly what I do is IT support and audio editing there for uh, following the nerd. Um, they're about a year and a half, two years old, and it's just spiraled. Has it gone crackers, is it? Crackers. You would not believe the amount of people we've interviewed on the show. Like and is it following the nerd? Is it a site? Is it's, it a, a it's a website. www.followingthenerd.com. Followingthenerd.com. We've yeah. got we've got a small business card here. Following the nerd, folks. I'll give you a quick look at it. <laughs> Razor. So that's for following the nerd. Yeah. And what, what do you so you do reviews on games and computers and everything? I mean, the reviews on TV shows, reviews on computer games. Um, we do some tabletop gaming stuff as well. Warhammer. Um, oh, um, I'm kind of in charge of that, but I'm not the best writer in the world, so we don't have enough on the, the tabletop game and stuff. Uh, do theatre reviews of shows Very and good. Belfast and stuff like that. I mean, you, seriously, everything. Um, live show on the radio that goes out streaming on a Thursday night that is then edited into a podcast, which you can be found on both Spreaker and iTunes and all the usual sort of spots like that. Very good. But uh, no, it's, it's it's really, really, it's going places, like. Yeah. So it is. Oh, very and good. Absolute ton of fabulous guys all writing for the site. Not a penny between us. All and voluntary. It's all voluntary. All voluntary. Unbelievable. So it is. Fair play. Great, great, great guys. Well done to all concerned. A big razor to following the nerd. So we're getting back to the, back to the model here. They were, we're taking too much time for following nerds. You know what I'm saying, I'm do you? <laughs> back to the modeling. So, um, London. Was that, your, was that your first bash at modelling? Uh, well, I've done like small photo shoots like with friends who like do photography in like the tech and stuff. But I haven't actually done this my for first professional one. So. so your first one is straight to London. Yes. Uh, how good's that? That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. You know, I can see you're you're, you're out there. The name's out there already. Yeah. You know. Um, so are you? I know you must be excited about this, are you? Very. I'm excited. Are you, are you saying to yourself, I can't believe this is actually oh, happening? Oh, jeez. It's like, what? I'd love to see you and your mummy come down the street, you know, after. <laughs> uh, so, oh, it's happened, we're here. <laughs> That's only the start of it. Mm, indeed. That's only the start of it. And now you, I'd say you'll be getting all the promote, lots of promotional work here. Yes. You know, because you're based here. Yeah. But as you say, when you could be going When it comes to it, anywhere. like we've been told by, by the agencies that... Yeah, they're going to have like small shoots in Ireland and stuff, but the bigger shoots, like the more large variety of shoots will be in London. Yeah. And I just want to go to America so badly. <laughs> America, here she comes. <laughs> no, you, you will do, you will do it. I mean, once, if you're modelling, you know, there's, there's no, yeah. you, you get your passport always gets stamped. Yeah. So you can go anywhere. You know, you're, you're not a threat, you're a model. You know, <laughs> it's going to be probably wars in America when she goes there. Mm. <laughs> she calls them, you know. Yep. But it's fabulous. So did you, you just entered a competition at the start? Is this? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I applied for it on a website online. To, to be a model? Yeah, it was like a registering site. And so I just registered online, just not really thinking anything about it. A few weeks later, I got a voicemail and I was like... Oh, it took a couple of weeks, did it? Yeah. This, is, this can't be right. What? I, they've got the wrong number here. <laughs> yeah. did they, so... Uh, after, about a week after you played, yeah. you, well, you were thinking, it's not going to happen. Great, I'm, 
<coughs> Sorry, I'm bloody mess with these ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then a couple of weeks later, yeah, bingo. Just got this voicemail and I was like, Wow. This, this is not happening. I'm dreaming. Wake up. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's a great now. You're off to a good start, isn't you? Yeah. Really, Brilliant you know. Start. And as I say, your confidence will carry you through. Yeah. You know, and uh, you've you've the proper Irish girl confidence. You know. <laughs> and I think that's what the big modern agencies are looking for. And you know, the acting bit will follow. Yeah. You know, it's when you do the modelling, everybody's looking at the models, and you don't know who's in the audience. Exactly. Some film director will go, "There's actually the person we are looking for right yeah. there. Who is it? Find out. You know, get in contact." So really, I completely congratulate you. Thank you very much. You know, so are you getting the are you getting the big model status around the point now? Uh, you know, as people really? open the doors for you, and, you know, coming yeah. into the shop or <laughs> giving you you know free cans of coke or free. <laughs> not don't be drinking cans of coke. You're a model. No more of that. <laughs> you have to knock them in the head now. Right? But uh, you will. You you have to get the recognition now. Yeah. But it's, it will be hard work for you. Yeah, definitely. The hours are going to be... People underestimate it so much. Like, yeah. people just think, oh, we just go in and get our hair done and we just stand there and look pretty. But it's so, like, difficult. Yeah. Like, the amount of stuff we actually have to go through. Like, there's, at the start, you have to, like, decide with outfits and stuff and you have to make sure that each one coordinates correctly and it, each one coordinates correctly with what shoot you're doing and, like, what type of shoot you're doing. Like, say, if you're going for a grunge shoot, it has to be, like, a grungy outfit, like a re rebellious... And if you're going for something more like, you know, up there in like the market, it would have to be more like um, clothes from like Miss Selfridge and like high top brands. Prada and yeah, all these ones. all that there, you know. Prada. <laughs> so it's, it, people completely underestimate models in that sense. People think that, and uh, what bugs me as well is people thinking that we're all like, not smart. No, you're all ditzy yeah, and all It's really yeah. offensive as well. Yeah. It's like I have a high, I have quite a high level of intelligence or so. I'd like girl. to think like. Yeah, good girl. But, but I, that's other people think. Always thinking, put them in their place. Yeah. You know, don't let them off it. People are going, oh, you're blonde, you don't know anything. And well, like the longest word in the English dictionary is uh, anti disestablishmentarianism, which means the government speaking out against church and political views. So. All the best. I'm out of here. I kind of done with it. Well, she's well, off your job now. There you go. Here, sit there. Now you sit there. God bless you. No, that's it. Very good. That's, you've got the right attitude for modelling. Mm. You know, because uh, some of the models have gone off the old radar there. You know yourself yeah. from cat fights and all that oh, there. Geez, yeah. You know, God have the one that say, tries to fight with yourself. <laughs> they're in for a shock, aren't they? Indeed. Not only they're going to get bothered. They're not only they're going to get bothered. They're going to get an education lesson. Battering as well. You know, <laughs> an educational battering. Well. Verbal, like verbal battering. Oh, educate! Just educate them with quick slapping. You know, brilliant. No, as I say, uh, you know, like, you probably will. You know, as you're only started, the bitchiness you haven't found the bitchiness end of it yet. Not yet. But you're ready for it. Yes. You're I, not going to uh, let that phase you. Bring it on. Bring it on. There you go. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Um, you're ready for it. Oh yeah. You're definitely ready for it. Uh, nothing phases you like. <laughs> well, you're, I, I know your mommy. Your mommy was saying that too. You know, nothing phases her. I'm not. I'm not the type of person to take an insult and just go right. Okay, I'll take that. I'm the type of person to go here. You're wrong, and let me tell you why you're wrong. No, it's the one. <laughs> yeah. Well, that you know. The blonde, the blonde bimbo image has just gone clean out the window. <laughs> she's, got a, she's got a bad habit of correcting her teachers. <laughs> oh, here you must have corrected him when he said when he comes out with a statement like that. You must have been corrected, Dave. Were you? No, no, no. <laughs> not actually, yet. she actually takes after me in that respect. I corrected quite stubborn. a few teachers in my time as well. Stubborn. Yeah, stubborn. Very stubborn. Stubborn. Well, if I want something, I'll get it. No matter how hard I work for it, I will get it. <laughs> there you go. You're going straight to the top. You're going. To, have you done any acting? You said you would. You would like uh, to get into it. I've done yeah. drama since I was three years old. I've done speech and drama, and I'm doing grades. And in the next, I think it's in two grades time, I will have a degree or something like that in drama. Well, t gee, see, this is you, you know. <laughs> there you go. The, now the image is really going out the window. <laughs> but uh, that blonde hair can go to jet black as quick as that, oh, can't yeah. it? I'm naturally brunette, so. Oh, you're naturally <laughs> brunette. So, but yeah, uh, the, I've seen you with your hair blue. I was going to say, you've had quite a few colours in your hair. I've had blue, red, purple. First time pink. I met you, it was blue. Jeez. Uh, I was awesome. telling your mummy that I was doing the comper at the Battle of the Bands and yeah. the Strafford. And your mummy says, look out for a wee girl with blue hair. <laughs> that was me. What are saying? What's going on here? <laughs> and that's the first night I met you. And the crack was great, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was brilliant. It was 
And the bonds were close and all. Oh my god, yeah. Because you love your music as well, don't I you? I do, I do. I'm very into my music. Yeah. yeah. You play a bit of music? No. Uh, I used to play guitar. I have a saxophone. I haven't learned how to play it yet. I used to play boron. I used to play clarinet. And I'd like to sing. <laughs> Brilliant. So singing, acting, the modelling's already here. <laughs> I tell you, you're going to be busy. You are going to be busy. And you may get you may get one of them cases with the big wheels on it. <laughs> I'd say you need a lorry axle or something on it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but you, you know you know what the... Uh, my young daughter, you know, and I just be going like, why do they need that amount of makeup? You know, there's yeah. bags of stuff. And if she comes home for the weekend, she's coming home with a big case. <laughs> Oh, you only coming for t two days, you a day on the way home the next day. Oh no, then are you like that? No. Do you need the big case full no. of stuff? <laughs> you can travel late. I, I, geez, I went over to England there um, <clears throat> to my friend last year for Christmas, and we were. I went over for a week. I think I packed about three outfits, and I didn't put any makeup in the case, and I was like, ah, <laughs> what am I going to need it for? <laughs> yeah. So you're not a makeup gal. You, you don't like it plastered up. Um. Depends on where I'm going yeah. and what I'm doing, but like if I'm just going down the street, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Who's going to see you like? <laughs> and not weather. She's not one of those girls that can't get out of bed without a bit of makeup. Like. No. Oh yeah, it doesn't take you three hours to get ready or anything like that. No. No. Took me like ten minutes this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, I'm going to have a word with you when you come home the next time. About <laughs> <laughs> three hours at least. It's brilliant. So that's it. You're, you're, you're on the, I can, as far as I can see, you're on the way to stardom. I hope so. You. <laughs> what do you think? Definitely. We're going to ask our studio manager here. What do you think? On the road to stardom or not? Thumb, thumbs double. up. Thumbs up. Double, double, thumbs thumbs he only gives up. a one thumb up normally. He <laughs> gives it a two. He nearly gave us a razor there, didn't he? <laughs> Brilliant. So it was, it's fantastic. And are you driving? Are you too young to drive yet? Or? That'll all come in its place. Indeed. You know, you hope you've done horse riding. You can ride horse. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the horse riding, it's, yeah. it's pretty good. I've done that since I was four. <laughs> you're, you're probably going to get, now that's another one. You know what I mean? Because uh, you're on about getting extras and yeah, work exactly. like that there. All these skills I get count for. See yeah. all that there, horse riding skills in England. Very good. Yeah. I can tell you. I love horse riding. Yeah. Brilliant. Are you sure you've been doing that from your four? Yeah, four Well years then, old. have you been doing the countering and yeah, the jumping I, I and all? Yeah, I do show jumping and... I do, show jumping? Yeah. Where is this? Where, do I, <laughs> where did you get the time? Like? <laughs> I'm going to say, where does this end? Or where, you know, <laughs> such a young lady, you've, oh, this, you've done it all, really. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. You're not into motorbikes, are you? I am. Mommy loves the oh, motorbikes. Oh dear. Totally. Maria, see what you <laughs> started. <laughs> I was started before Mommy was in the motorbikes now. <laughs> Yeah, have, you, have you done a wee bit of archery in the house as well? Pardon? Archery? Yeah, we have like bow and arrows in the house, so we decided to you know, give it a wee go on the walls and everything. There's another skill. The skills are they're all yeah. mounted up because uh, for the likes of the games of thrones, the game of, game thrones, of thrones, yeah. If you could do archery and horse riding, <laughs> they'll go get get a howl of horse quick. <laughs> Seriously, they will yeah. they will go for you big time. You know, hard work game of thrones. Isn't it? My son was in it. I saw it himself. Were you? Yeah. yeah. I didn't get in because I... Yeah, you didn't have the hair. I was too slick. <laughs> the, la the lack of hair. <laughs> yeah. No, I was, in, I was in a couple of the episodes tonight. Um, the, the very first day I was there, uh, it, was, it was a quarry way up around Antrim somewhere. And just marched up to the top of the hill and marched back down again. And we just constantly marched up, marching down. Starting in different positions. March up, march down. Just they wanted the shots. Started to rain. And there was about 40 horses marching in front of us. So they were just churning up the mud. Oh, jeez. By the end of it, oh my <laughs> god. Wrecked is not the word for it. Like, but see the next day, I mean, that day, I just couldn't wait to get home. See the next day, I waking up, it was like, that was brilliant. You know what yeah. I mean? It was like, I'm in Game of Thrones. It Did that fantastic. actually happen? Yeah. It was that actually like, happened. Were you in the, um, the big marquee when the wind caught the marquee and lifted the marquee up? No, no, it wasn't. Uh, my son was in it. And he right. was sitting there, all sitting eating, and the next thing he says, the floor started, and they got there. <laughs> and big, massive marquee. And then the second time it came, then the third time, just by just shouting, everybody out. And he says, by that time, the floor, they were all lifted up, you know. Jeez. But it Jeez. took off and all, yeah. it blew it away oh up the God. field. Oh, it is. I mean, and it was the size of the street. Yeah. The size of the whole street. The one marquee. Oh, but it took off, and they were lucky to get out. And then <laughs> it was emptying out of the heavens, and they took them into a small village. Yeah. Where there was only one hotel, small hotel, 
and there was about 300 people come down dressed all up in the Viking <laughs> gear now. <laughs> <laughs> the poor villagers thought the Vikings are coming back again. They invaded again. <laughs> Invasion part two, you know. But, uh, oh, but some of the sets to build is just fantastic. Like, um, do you watch it? Do you follow it? Well, I do. I watch it. Yeah. Uh, do you know the episode, the the Red Wedding? I didn't watch. I didn't get to that. Now I've only watched bits and pieces. There's been friends of mine on it. Biggie Collium, Razor. Uh, he's been on it. There's been loads of Damien Heaney. There's loads of people yeah. from Derry, you know. Loads and well, loads, loads and loads, but because uh, Damien, yes, I know Damien. Taxi Mon, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know Damien. It was actually Damien that uh, got me into it. There you well, go. Told me to, to sign up for the website. Um, but there's so many different bits and pieces. So there's so many different extras in different locations all at the same time, sort of thing. You know what I mean? So you think, you know, oh, you're an extra. How come I don't know you, sort of thing? You know, but they could be filming. The, obviously, they film up at the Titanic Quarter in the studio there. Um, Quite a few sets up there, you know, indoor sets there. Um, they had the the castle at Winterfell. The indoors of the castle was there. Uh, a couple of other indoors was there. Uh, we filmed three or four different locations. Filmed in Down Patrick, in a small forest. And again, it was just a case of walking the path, um, and walking back and walking the path again. That yeah. it's quite repetitive like you know what uh, I mean well the, the, that's how they get they only want to get the shots that they yep. need yeah. so you know the the actual the first day it, it's amazing when you see the actual shot because there was <coughs> about I think maybe about 100 150 extras and 40 to 60 horses and in the shot there's thousands the the whole lot just sort of streams the whole way down into the distance and what they've done is they've taken all the shots of us and kind of Block them in, them all together, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's like that it's there, it's like this, that's what it is, they've got that shot there, Yeah. there's everybody there, and then, and then multiply it. Yeah, just put it all together, like, on a CGA, yeah. do it in CGA. So well done, you know what I mean? Computer generated images. See, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. If you're not going to do modelling and acting, hey, what are you going to be teaching children or something, are you? Uh, I want to be an arts and drama therapist. A what? An arts and drama therapist. Oh, therapist? Yeah, it's for like, you know the way children sometimes go to counselling and then they can't talk to the counsellor because they feel like too withdrawn in themselves. Yeah, yeah. Well, <coughs> they could express themselves through things like art and drama so they express So this is a themselves. new therapy that's yeah, out there, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, Like they have music therapy and everything. Yeah. And But this is like art and drama therapy where the child can express themselves through like maybe drawing a picture of how they feel or like doing like a wee drama piece, pretend to be someone else, but expressing how they feel in that person, in that character. It's so the person, it's so the child doesn't have to think, right, I'm just sitting here telling them how I feel and they're going to reply and they're going to judge me and everything. Yeah. It's so they can like express how they feel, but in a way that a child should, you know, yes. as a child, yeah. not as in an adult talking to one another face to face. Yeah. It's as a child, so the child can still have like a sense of creativity and like childlikeness. When and then you're going to, you're going to bring out yeah, maybe like what the find problem out what's is. Wrong, what's wrong with them? Like via like how they what they're drawing and like how they're talking. When you're, it's like getting to know the child as a child, not. Yeah, to know it's, the it's child not, as a patient. It's you not know trying what I mean? to drag an adult out of a chain. Exactly. It's just trying to coordinate with exactly. the chain. And how and they, they would, interpret yeah. their pictures and, and their movements yeah. and stuff. Very good. And you're going to get involved in that, are you? I'd like to get involved in that. Yeah, yeah. I'd say you could do that in between your modelling and yeah. acting. You know, when this really kicks off, you like. That's brilliant. I, I really do. I'm, I'm absolutely delighted for you. Thanks very much. Have you any advice to any young younger girls out there that um, you know? Always believe in yourself, and if you want something, try your hardest to get it. Because never let it go. Because eventually you will get it. If there you try you go. hard enough. There you go. But you have to work hard on it. You do. Yeah. And uh, as you thought, you thought to yourself, just fly over to London, get off the plane, go in and get my shots yeah, done. Yeah, that's it. No, and that just turned into not. what? That turned into a complete, not a <laughs> whole day. You were exhausted on your feet, exactly. but the excitement kept you going, didn't Oh my it? God, it was it's thrilling. Like, it, it really is. The adrenaline from it, it's crazy. So it's worth it, isn't it? Oh yeah, 100%. You must have been Definitely. bouncing out of your feet, oh. were you? Excited is not the word. And this is the, the, wait till you do the real on-set exactly. modeling, the, when it does come, you know, Exactly. And then you're going to have a director of photography and all there, everything to, to coordinate everything, you know. Yeah. But you're ready for it, aren't you? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. It's just itching, itching to get going. Definitely. So sure. Just buzzing. <laughs> if you got the call right now, 
Uh, the answer would be one hundred percent yes. You just Sorry, you have to go. You give a big razor. Don't forget about the give it. Always give it the razor. You know, <laughs> that's 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 the way it is now. That's that's the way your life's going to yeah. be. That's you're going to be, you're that, going to be on call. That's going to be next day. You see the cover of uh, Vogue or something there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on in here first, wasn't it? It was done in here first, the razor. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. It's, it's the only way to go now. And I'm absolutely delighted for you. I'm delighted for your mummy. must be well buzzed up, is oh, she? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's so happy for me. Like, she's thrilled. She's but you're, you and your mummy get on really good anyway, don't you? You're like sisters. Me and mummy aren't like mother and daughter. Me and mummy are best friends. There you go. Yeah. Some of the texts me when we have sent each other is hilarious. Like I've sent, I sent her one that, the other I was day. Say, yeah. uh, read that yesterday. That was nuts. <laughs> oh my god, it was it's, <laughs> really it's nuts. hilarious. Like um, she has a nickname for her mother, which is just the mothership. mothership. The mothership. So I goes mothership, mothership, come in, mothership. It's baby ship here. Where are you on your galactic mission? And what's the mission's duration? <laughs> Over. She goes mothership here. Mission went well. Have to call to brother ships to deliver a package. How is it with the baby ship? <laughs> I goes, baby ship has flown back to port and is eating refuel. His energy levels are critical, so small missions to flying to the fridge is currently underway. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> I bet your mum loves that. Yeah. <laughs> and she makes me feel normal sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing Maria. We make the insane feel sane. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. That's a good thing to do, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> it's good to be insane, too. No point, no point being normal, because no one's boring. Well, the way I look at it is... There, anybody's there, normal. There's no such thing as normal. But, but there, there's no, there is no measuring tape you can pull out. There's no... Take a photograph. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's normal. The, yeah. It doesn't exist. I tried to be normal you know? once, but then I just went back to being me, because it got too boring. <laughs> Well, that's, isn't that you're having better fun with your exactly. life? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If you went, if you went to boring normal again, I mean, uh. you know, <laughs> I mean, I should be sitting here with a big wrap around and you know, <laughs> cardigan and pipe and slippers. And get away! That's not for I'm me. I'm going to have nightmares about that tonight. You with a wrap around. <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, as you see, I could throw my wrap around off now. Yeah. That's my hair. My hair is the hat. You know. That's it. You know. And what about this hat, Andy? Our Rowan. Our Rowan's got one of these up the stairs. Look. His own hat. This Hello. man's hat. <laughs> See that? Uh, I think he needs a glass as head. well. See, this, this model is blowing the head clean off that young fella. But uh, no, Rowan, Rowan Hand, big razor for Rowan Hand. He's doing sterling work, I have to say. He's, he's bringing loads and loads of clothes down to the homeless in Dublin. Every Brilliant. Saturday morning, on his own, no problem, voluntary, doesn't get paid. Rowan, you're a good man. You're a good man, Rowan Hand. Much Rowan, respect. this man's got a hat the same as you, brother. Yes, <laughs> best hat in the Rowan, world. Rowan's is red. This is actually the second one I had. I had one um, a few years ago, quite a few years ago, about ten years ago actually. Now, God, I'm getting old. But uh, it was it was bought in Belfast. You know the inn shops. The inn. The inn shops. It was like a wee sort of it was like a wee arcade, different shops in it. Oh yes. Um, you know, one of them sold like belts and buckles and stuff like that. The yeah. wee clothes shop in it, and that's where I got my original one. And it was actually a friend of yours, you know, Diggy? Oh, Diggy, aye! Hey. Razor Diggy! It was Diggy got me this. Big, big Willie. So I have no idea where he got it. Don't know where he got it. I actually got stopped the other day in the street. Fat asked me, he says, where'd you get your hat? He says, a friend gave it me. I says, I have no idea where he got it. Uh, Diggy's never, it never leaves my head. Is that right? Hey. Are you? He never takes it off. Have you got her or not? Loads. He's got loads I, of I could sell you some. No, no, I don't want any more of that. I don't carry on. Been there, done that. See, not see, a lot of hassle, isn't it? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want her. I wouldn't it's want her. It's not a lot of hassle, I can yes. See, now you just go... Yeah. One of them five bladed razors is done. Right. You know, see this... I did that I once. Of her again. I did that once. You don't know how I feel. Like, actually, you have no idea how I feel. That is true. I have absolutely no <laughs> idea what it's like to have a hair in there. <laughs> I have the amount, the amount of hairspray in my hair right now. I think my hair could be bulletproof. Uh, Look, look, it springs back up again. <laughs> <laughs> Even if there was a gale force wind going out there. That would stand the That's not going to move. Now, don't get me wrong, I had her down to here at one time, you know, jet black hair. Like, but, uh, but it must have been about 20 something years ago now, you just got sick of it. Yeah. Just got clip, 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 cut her all off. Didn't home. tell anybody. No, I did the same. I came home from the trainer centre one day, and I'd same as yourself, down to halfway down my back, and Went just next door there. Into the... Yep. Into the barbers there. And your girl must have stood for five minutes holding the ponytail going, you sure? Are you sure? I was like, would you cut it? I said, yeah, I don't want to. Just cut the ponytail. Next door here, her city or something, isn't uh, it? Scissors, scissors or something. 
I can't, I can't remember what it's called yet, but... Next door, big shout out to the hairdressers next door. <laughs> Railway Avenue. I, went, I actually went into them there uh, two weeks ago for the Bally Holden Strictly Come Dancing, and there was a girl in there, and they, they were sending me a message saying, go in and ask her, you know. But I went in and she was washing an all, another lady's hair, and I went in and I goes, hello, and took the cap off, and she just went, I says, can you do anything with it? <laughs> <laughs> so then I just walked out again, you know yourself. Um, my cousin, my cousin Derville, getting married this weekend. Derville, we can't make the wedding pad, but she's got, um, in Warren Point, she's got her salon, and you know, up near the Duke Bar. Is it um, the one? Is it the uh, one? Do you know butter cu Buttercups beauty thing? You know, if you're coming into the point, if you're coming in uh, by the, the Upper Tremor, yeah, the, the Upper Tremor Road where the Duke oh, Bar yes, is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So there's Buttercups. Um, beauty salon, beauty salon yeah. and then there's the plate they heard this yes, across yes, the road. Yes, yes, yes. So big shout out to the girls, um, Bernie Kane and Buttercups and Derville Quinn, soon to be Derville McMahon Ooh. this weekend. So call in, Dude. call in. I have a, I'm going to send a model into these girls. <laughs> so if you live in the point, call into them. Might as well. Yeah, and the girls would love to have the crack. You know they're lovely. They really are. Like a Derville in here a few months ago. Yeah. Yes. I can't remember which which hair salon did my blue. Her salon did my blue in the point. Must have been yeah. terrible. I think it was. Yeah. It's, the Duke is up this way and then there's the hair street. It's like by, beside the opticians. Um. There's the Duke down this street and then you, it's like this way here and then the On the same street as here. the Duke. On the same street? Yeah. It's only a couple of doors up from the Duke bar. I'm not sure about it. Mm. And Buttercup's only across the road from the Duke. Oh, right, 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 that wee one. So the Buttercup's oh, up nice. is up the yeah. stairs, and then there's a salon, a hairdressing yes, salon, yes, right yes. across the road. So go in there, check them out. Indeed. Oh, yes. Tell Derville and Bernie I sent you down. <laughs> oh, yes. The girls are working together, but they are, they're lovely, and I'm sure they'll support you, and, you know, they would be. You can plug them. There you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, it's always good, you know. Indeed, they're local yeah. girls, so yeah. And I'm sure they're taken under their wing. You know, <laughs> treat you right. Model, model. I'm telling you. So it's you know, it's great to plug you, and it's you know, it's great to see a young girl like you going to London at your age, getting big photo shoots. Yeah. It's fabulous. You know, it really. I think it's fabulous. Your heart and your head's in the right place. Oh, you yeah. just you're buzzing for this. You're dying to get going, 100%, aren't you? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And is is mummy gonna be? Uh, is she going to be your tour manager? Mummy is my manager. Good girl. Good yep. girl, Maria. Mummy's the manager. Mummy is indeed. She well, manages my finances and my bank accounts and everything. Well, and you couldn't get a better person. website as well, yeah. Couldn't get a better person. She's very clued in, isn't she? Oh, yes. And Mommy, she knows Mommy a lot about them. Like. That I call it technology. <laughs> Not I, knowledge. I think I know a wee bit more about technology than Mummy does. <laughs> That's fabulous. I'm going to tell God. her though, Mom, that's the sign out button for Facebook. Yeah, you click on that if you want to log out. Yes. Yes. Don't hassle the monitor. <laughs> that, that's, that's the Google <laughs> logo. Google. Yeah. So you're Maria's brother then, aren't yeah, you? I am indeed. Yeah. And are, if you, is there many more brothers? or? There's no more brothers. I'm the baby. You're the baby of the I'm family? The baby. Are you Five the baby? sisters. No way. Yeah. You must have got. Uh, so hand downs was a problem. <laughs> I would say that must have been bad. <laughs> you don't tell me you're in the world. It doesn't look too bad in a wee frilly dress. Oh, yeah, well, look quite good, yeah. you know, well, I tell you, you could take it. You could get them into it? the modelling career. There's different types of modelling going on out there. Better than I was, wouldn't you? You know, Dave with <laughs> Dave in a tutu. Davina, 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 Davina. Only on the weekends. Only on the weekends. I think you're going to have to hide the the goatee there, Dave. You know? Uh, no, no, we'll leave that. Up. No, leave it on. The lipstick will cover it. Covered lipstick. <laughs> but it's all happening. Um, wonderful. Uh, honest to God, I'm really delighted for you. Thank you very much. I'm really much. delighted for you. Thank you. And uh, I hope I hope all the offers are coming in left, right, and centre. I'm so. sure they will. I hope so, By the way, any businesses? You're you're available for photo shoots here, are you? I am indeed. Yes. So any businesses, anybody launching a new car, new product, get on to either me or I can or pass me. on. Get on to well, well, your website's up. Yeah, my website's up. Where you can contact me on my current Facebook. Uh, which is Cat Jennifer Hart. So Cat Jennifer Hart yep. on the Facebook. On and, the Facebook. And you're you are available for photo shoots here now, I am right now. Yes, right now. <laughs> right now. So there you, folks. Don't leave it till it's too late. 
if you've any big events coming up, uh, you want to promote something, you want a beautiful young lady in it, <laughs> here she's here. She's ready to go to work, aren't you? Indeed I am. Very, very good. So Dave, you're the tour manager here today then? I'm the tour manager. I'm the yeah. backup. Sidekick. You're, yeah, the sidekick. <laughs> Uncle sidekick. Great. <laughs> Uncle dude. Uncle, Uncle dude. dude. Uncle, Uncle dude. dude. That's a bad name suits you with a hat and all. Uncle dude's pretty Uncle good, dude. yeah. <laughs> Uncle dude's pretty good. Uncle dude's pretty Riser. good. Riser. Poet and you didn't even know it. Oh, I know it. That's <laughs> <laughs> something I do, I write poetry. So you write poetry as well? You do a bit of artwork? Yeah, I love, jeez, I love art. So you I got that, you, you're definitely a heart, you got the, all the oh hearts yeah, are good at that. definitely. Uh, your Uncle Martin's pretty tasty, very, yeah, very, very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah. Um, he was back in the day, he was big in the drawing, uh, he did an awful lot of uh, drawings of Elvis. Oh yeah. So he did, do you remember those? Yeah. And uh, he, he would do um, a couple of um, like comic strip uh, superheroes. Yeah. He did quite a few drawings. Remember, I remember him giving me a load of drawings when it was like, the height of a grasshopper like. Uh, there was actually drawings on our bedroom walls that he had done. He's very, we very gifted. Up, like. I remember us at school, he was in our class in all the school. Razor Marty, great fella. Good, I've always good time for Marty, Razor. And uh, Marty could draw anything yeah. at school. When he was seeing he was about fourth or second year at school, penciled a bit of paper. And all of us are digging into the paper, yeah, breaking, no effort, the, like. breaking the lead and all this. What's going on? Marty just sit there. He nearly looked round and got there, <laughs> have a bit of crack me, and the next thing, you know, it's done. Yeah. He, he really is, he's got a Brilliant great eye hand coordination, he knows, he, he is very, very yeah. talented, you know. But that, that must become the whole way through From the art family. family. Yeah. yeah, I you do uh, portrait work, people. You do, do, do you? Yeah. See, Marty done that as yeah. well. Now, I know? always found it very hard to do portraits. Yeah. He's so more of is. a landscape artist. Um, well, landscape and I'd be, I'd be very sort of, not technical, but... Nerdy. Nerdy. I like, I like, if you're drawing a TV, it has to look like a TV, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. like sort of abstract I'm kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Because, like, there's so many, like, modern day artists who are drawing people, like, one big huge eye and then, like, jaws that are out of place. I'm not. See, if I take a photo of someone, I have to draw it how it looks. And if it doesn't look like that, I get very annoyed and rip yeah. it up and throw everything I have at the wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's, not, it's not the impressionism and art and yeah, all that no, there, no, you no. know, as well, you say, a big I'll A change. here and the mouth over yeah, here and all sometimes that. Sometimes I'll change like colours up, like say I'll do like... Andy Warhol style? No, 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 not even like that, more like, like kind of, I don't know how to say it in a way that's not offensive, like People who aren't socially accepted, like people who have right. like extreme tattoos and piercings and yeah. like different hair colours. Colourful people. Yes, exactly. <laughs> colourful characters. People who like I... Like ourselves. Yeah, colour who, for the colourful characters. People who I actually get along with more than normal people, because mm. normal people are boring. And people who are more colourful are actually a hell of a lot more good for communication. Buzzier and happier yeah. and Bubbler. smiling and all, you know. Yeah. And, and don't really care about... Exactly. Don't the care silly what things think. in life that don't annoy care what people you. Think. That's it. I don't give I've a damn what anybody stage. thinks. I've passed that stage. You have passed that stage yeah. at this early stage yeah. in your life. I've had wow. I've had the amount the amount of people I've had who don't like me and make it quite obvious that they don't like me and have gotten to the point where I'm like, you know what, I don't even care. Well, I have to ask you. The amount of people you, know, you say the amount of people that don't like you, are we talking girls? Uh both. What? Yeah. Oh, so that because you're a buzzy person, people because people don't actually like don't like that. you. Yeah. Oh, she's too loud, or she's yeah. too this, or Not too that. Not even too loud. It's because in most, actually, in some circumstances, like if I'm in, in, in a new environment, it's kind of like withdrawn for a while, like kind of shy until I find out. Oh, these people are okay, and then I'll come out. Yeah. But around people who don't like me, I'll be like, I don't care what you think anymore. <laughs> if you don't like me, join the queue with the rest of the people who don't. Well done. Well done you. That's the, that's the right attitude. Because you're going to, you're, listen, that, do you know what that's actually done? That's got you ready for your modelling career. Yeah. yeah. Because it's going to be, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, you know, but you just give them a wee bit of arse, just turn it and knock your block off, girl, you know what I mean? Hi. You know one of them ones. See, she's ready for it. <laughs> I nearly jumped there. You, I was going to say, you, you did crack. kickboxing, didn't you? I did, yeah. Did the kickboxing. Yeah. I done the kickboxing too. Indeed. Well, I did indeed, yeah. Done them like Kato, Judo, done loads of stuff. Great. Great, great to be doing it, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. Keeps your belly off you. <laughs> it 
indeed. You know, it keeps you right. Yeah, you need to do something like that. We we'll have to do it. There's no option, you know. But you know, way back in the days when we were growing up, and there was, I mean, there was no internet, there was no mobile phones, there was nothing. You know what I mean? So you used to you used to walk in the phone box. You used to walk <laughs> one phone no box, and you made walk to a different phone box <laughs> at a certain time so you could ring each other. Yorkshire yeah. accent. Go for a game. There's not tints in it. Ah, so you can do a Yorkshire accent. Oh yeah, accent I can do Yorkshire. I like the Yorkshire accent. Yeah, great spuds. <laughs> <laughs> Raise for the Yorkshire people. But uh, mm. it's great crack, isn't it? Dude, big shout out to my friend in in Yorkshire, Georgie. Georgie, will I tell you? If you have anybody to shout out, a shout out to them now. Okay, well... All around the world. Someone asked me to give a shout out to them yesterday, and this is the exact words I told me to use. Keelan, big shout out to you, you ginger. <laughs> Razor Keelan, you ginger. <laughs> Good man, Keelan. Keep it, is it the same Keelan I know? Uh, no. Right. Razor Keelan, anyway. You're ginger. <laughs> You're ginger. Good man. And anybody else, any of your friends around uh, the world, Australia, America? Or? Uh, two people. Go One. ahead. My inspiration since I've been a little girl, my big brother. Who's so, who's him? Jamie Hart. Jamie Hart. Yep. Jamie Hart, razor. And one of the closest people in my entire life to me at this moment in time from America, Sebastian Kai. Sebastian, Sebastian Kai Latura. Sebastian Razor. That's great. I will tell you, your modeling career is going to boom out through that door. <laughs> Don't forget, folks. She's available for photo shoots, and it's. 24-7. 24-7. If you're going to launch your new electric car, say our morals or kills or anybody like that. Oh, I can jump on the bonnet. It'd be great. <laughs> I don't care. I, 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 could, I could pose the bonnet and that there too. You know what I mean? Only well, there's no hair like, but I can give it that there. Oh. You'd have to do the hair flick. <laughs> um, have to get a lend of hair first. <laughs> get a wig. How do you want to get a wig? But uh, fabulous. Really fabulous. <laughs> Onwards and upwards for you. Indeed. You know, I, I can't wait to see... I can't wait to see what's going to happen to you this year, mm -hmm. you know, and I'd say get through this, you've just a brand new model really. How long, when was it actually you went to London? Uh, last week, was Monday. 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 Last Monday. Yeah. Brand new, brand new model. This is it, this, it's on the way for you. It's going to happen for you. Indeed. Yeah. Pretty excited. Pretty excited Indeed. and all that goes with it. Oh yes. You know, because... Uh, you know yourself, you've seen models, they've been invited to everything Everywhere. on the planet. Exactly. You know, the game shows, they're invited to this. Yeah, and, you know, to that. Award shows. Yeah. Sure. And if a tip for you, if you're ever going to launch a ship, you know the, the way they smash the bottle of champagne? <laughs> Make sure you drink the champagne for it. They smash, it's <laughs> they smash <laughs> the bottle. Because the pressure don't, won't let the bottle break, so oh, yeah. we tip for you. Just, just, just we tip. We you crack yourself. Or, or I'll let you drink half it with me. You well, know. there you go. We'll, we'll sharing, sharing is sharing. Sharing, sharing is caring. Sharing is I caring, like it. guys. I like it. <laughs> well, listen, absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much for inviting me in. And will you come back? And will you will, when you're when when you get a break in your busy schedule? Oh, of this going to happen know. this year? I'll, I'll have to I'll have to write it on the calendar. Well, I'll try. And, I'll, I'll get on there. I'll get on there, manager. There you yeah. go. Is that fair enough? <laughs> Indeed. And we'll try and maybe try and get your manager in here the next time too. Indeed, yes. Yes, it'll be fun. You know, pull up at the door in the bike there. Get you know, I'll give it a couple of big revs. You know, I'll throw my hat out, hit her on the top of the helmet with it. You know. <laughs> But listen, it, no, it, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you in the studio. Lovely to meet you too, Dave. Same um, yourself. Great. We'll, we'll, we'll come back again, you know. You can come back. I want you back in again at a different time and tell me what else is happening. But we're going to focus on the model, the actress, the professor of everything. This, <laughs> this is brilliant. No, it really is brilliant. And as I say, don't forget the name. There she is there. Cat, Cat Jennifer Hart. Cat Jennifer Hart. Cat, you're going places, Pep. Thank you. You really are. You Dave, you look after. Oh, definitely. Big time, you know. He's the tour manager today. Um, regards to Mum and regards to Doogie, my mate Doogie, will you? Well, they. Yeah, well, nice. I'm going to have to hook up with him some night for a bit of crack. I really I'll am, tell you know. Doogie tonight, then. Yeah, tell Doogie. Tell Doogie he was asking about him. And not this weekend, maybe in a couple of weekends, I want to go and meet him for a bit of crack. I haven't okay. seen him in a long time, yeah. you know. Doogie, it's been too long, brother. You know it. So listen, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming into the no studio. Problem. Thank you very much, sir. You're very welcome, Dave. Absolute pleasure. What about this today, folks? We've got Ireland's freshest model. She's ready to take on the world. Definitely. And here she is. Cat Jennifer Hart. Don't forget it, folks. Um, on another note, we've got the Banta Show will be back again. Um, I won't be here Friday, but for now, folks, we're out of here. Razor. Cheers.
Give it out, raise it out, Dave.